Hello everyone, this is Jim Seek of Seek Auctions with online only auction number 250. It's a Tom and Ann Bumpus collection. This is an online only auction. It ends Sunday, May 12th at 7 p.m. This is the sixth video, lots 301 through 367. We got Chase here working a camera and Jan is taking the day off, lucky girl. Okay, we'll start out with a really cute piece. Jack in the pulpit. Um, twigs vase. Now this here is in. This here has a chip on the back of the ruffle. Right there. Where? Right there. Oh yeah. It's actually fairly big. It's off that back side. But if you set it like that, nobody would ever see it. So again, there's a lot of little damages in this group. Um, there is some good. We'll let you know when they're good. Here's this here has a chip on the back edge of the stopper. I'm gonna show you that real quick. Yeah, it's hard to see there. I, I'm having a hard time seeing it because I'm blind in one eye and can't see out of the other. But here's a nice bottle. And the shot glass that goes with it has several little nicks on the rim of the base. I think you see one there, one here, one here. Okay, we're heading off this lot. Okay, rare set here. This is the octagon wine set stopper is not this is a probably a contemporary smoke um stopper imperial grape okay now the wines there's four good wines and one damaged wine but just so you know two of the wines i think it's the middle two of course it's the middle two it's the last two i pick up two of the wines are violet blue so you're getting the two violet blue wines. And then there is one of the wines right here. It does have a chip. You can see it right there on the tip. Okay. Um, those wines are pretty good, folks. All right. Now here's a rustic funeral vase in blue. It's very pretty. But I can see it right here. It's cracked around the base. It goes all the way around it, too. It's, it's cracked. It, I don't think it's been glued, but it... It's definitely cracked around the base. Okay. Rare piece here. Here's a Cherry Circles Bonbon in red. There are several little bitty nicks on the points. Chase's eye. Right there's one. Uh, there's another one or two. There's one. It's not real bad. They're very minor, but they are there. We want you to know it. Okay. Here's a... Uh, Dahlia, uh, peacock and dahlia bowl, seven inch bowl in lime green. It's a very pretty one, but there is a chip on a point. And Chase can find them so fast. His eyes are so much better than mine. I just love that. So, all right. Now here is a sunflower bowl in ice blue. Very pretty. And it has chip point and crack and foot. In foot. Now the chip point is probably right. Here. No, that's not chip. Right here, I think. Right here. Yeah. Okay. And then there is a crack in the foot, which is right there. Right there. Got it. Okay. Uh, here's another rare set here. This is a 474 punch set. In purple, these are impossible to get, extremely rare. All right, now there is a chip on the top of the base. Okay. And then some of the points have some chips on them here. Um, let's see if I can find some of them. Feels like there's a little one right there. It's just rough almost ev on every point along here. Uh, some of it is manufactured, but some of it is chipped. Um, I believe the top edge has a chip too. I can't find it right now. It's always tough to find them when we're, whoop, I felt it right there, right there. Okay. Okay. Not too bad, but it's there. Neat vase. I love these little diamond point vases in ice blue. They're really pretty. This one has a slight peeling on one ruffle. Now, peeling is probably done during manufacturing. And now, of course, I can't find it. There it is right there. Got it. Okay. 
Another great vase here is an ice blue mid-size tree trunk vase. And this thing is a beauty. It's really, really pretty. It does have some epoxy on a ruffle. I think it's one of these down in here. Right there, I think. And it's been filled in. I can see it. And to be honest with you, from what it looks to me, it looks like it's one of those peeling effects that was in the manufacturer and somebody covered it up. So I'm not going to take it off to find out. That's up to you guys. <laughs> so here's a three fruits plate, aqua opal, plate holder nicks between points. It's very, very minor. Now uh, there's one little dinky thing there, but I felt it over here too. Here's one. These are so minor, I, um, they're borderline not call, but yet, here's one right there too. Yet, they're there. We want you to know they're there. There's like three of them, and they're very, very minor. This is a nice plate. This, this is a really good plate. You may have noticed that we advertise this in the Hoga auction, and after we advertise it, we'd taken photographs. We looked at it 16 times. Mm -hmm. um, on the 17th time, we found something wrong with it. It has a crack that runs. I think you can see it inside there. It's, uh, I don't know if you... Yeah, I can it, see the outline of that. Right, but yep. You also can see a little bit on the outside, I think, too. But it does have a crack in it, so... It goes right up through here. Yeah, it goes right around that handle. This thing's a beauty. It's a Lily of the Valley pitcher. Amazing pitcher. Now, this tumbler has a chip. But these tumblers, I believe they're good. Yeah, I think the other six are good. Yes, I believe every one of them is in good shape. These are hard tumblers to get. We're still selling it as a set. Um, there, that's a beautiful tumbler there. There you go. Nice set. All right, here's a ice blue nippon bowl, and it has a chip on the point. We always we always tell ourselves to mark it, mark this thing by the chip, but these things fall off all the time. So when you're moving it around, it there right no yep right there right there I found it. Okay. See my eyes aren't so bad I can't find it. Okay, here's a town pump and marigold. There's the big chip right on the base. See it? Mm -hmm. Okay. And we have the green town pump. But look, the spout is missing. It was carved off, uh, polished off. Must have had a big chip on it. Maybe cracked off and they just flattened it. And here's a purple one. And this has Nick on the rim of the base. I'll show you that here in just a second. This top part up here it is. There. It's not bad, but it is there. It's on that flat part right there. All right, we're going to head down to the here. On the Luster Rose Fruit Bowl in red. Very nice bowl. Tiny Nick on outside edge. It's. Uh, I put my finger on it over here. There's one. That's just a little dinky one there. I think there's a couple more that are about that size. Um, very minor. Some people would call this a perfect bowl. There's the other one I had seen earlier. And here's another little one right here. Those are very minor piece problems. Nice bowl. Okay, uh, here's a really nice Sapphire Three Fruits Bowl. Point out, you can see the little minor roughness on the fruit. That's very typical. There's a polished ruffle. Okay, this has all been polished all the way along here. Okay, that's the biggest problem it has. Okay, now here has a point that's chipped and filled with epoxy, and should I get the light, because that was really the only way we could find it. Okay, um, it was kind of on the back side of a point somewhere. And of course it'll be... Is that where your thumb is? It would be. Yeah, be a... it's right there. There it is. Okay. Yes, a black light will show that up. Um, there is some epoxy that won't glow. Uh, it won't show up, but most of the time it will. Uh, this here is a really nice sapphire squatty bowl. This come out of the Marie Caps collection, or squatty vase, excuse me. Now this has some minor rough spot in the points, like right here. That's actually a little bitty rough spot. I think this one's got the same thing. Very, very minor. Nothing major there. 
Okay, here, this lot here, acorn burrs tumblers. This one here, the whole base has got a big polish right there. It's been chipped off and polished. So, Okay, here's a uh, plaid bowl in red. Another rare piece. And there is epoxy on the edge. And I think it's pretty, once you see it, it's there. Or am I going to have to get the light out again? I feel like it's over here. Now that that edge, that's just, that's not epoxy. That's um, just red shows that. Why why can't we find it? It's right there. There it is. Okay, I knew it was a pretty good sized spot. I remember that. Okay, here's a good luck bowl. Pie crust edge, purple, very pretty. There is a chip on a point. And as I'm telling you that, these things do not stick that well. Right there. It actually looks like it might have a little filling of epoxy in there too, actually, just a little bit. I'll bet it'll shine up for you. Yep, it does. Okay. Uh, here's a drapery vase in lime green. It has the typical toe necks. There's a little one right there. It, this, this one is not too bad. Um, there's one right on here, right there. Very minor, but they're there, okay? Here's an ice green one. And this one has, again, typical toe nicks. There's one right there, one right here. And nice, nice vase. Okay, here's the aqua opal one. This one has, the feet are rough. They're all the way around those feet. There's one there. See, there's a nice one there. I think the bottoms have a little bit too. Um, that's a nice vase. That's a really nice vase. That is very typical for these vases. So, and here one foot has a minor nick. It's very minor. Um, right there. Not bad at all. Did you get the vase? Yep. Okay, good. All right. All right, here's a, has a pinpoint. I'm going to show you the pinpoint first because I know I stuck this one and it's stuck. Here's the Peacock Cadern Bowl Millersburg. Really nice. An amethyst. Great piece. Here's a Butterfly and Berry hat pin holder, or hat pin holder vase. And it has polish and chips on ruffles, but it also has a base chip. I just noticed that. There's a base chip. And this here is all polished right here. So, and there's another polish. A couple of ruffles have some polishing. So, okay. All right, here's uh, a double stem rose, dome-footed bowl here in blue. That, that's very hard to find. On one of the seams, that's just, there's a little nick off of that probably made that way. It's very minor. It's right off that seam. Those seams tend to be fairly rough, but we're going to call it. Here's a Persian medallion, little sauce in red. These are rare. These are really hard to get. Unfortunately, there is a large chip on the base. All right, here's a ice blue hearts and flowers bowl. Uh, do you remember where it was, Chase? Right there. there we go. There is about a two inch crack right there where my thumb is. Could you get it? Yep. Good. I always, you know how the cracks are, you got to have it just sitting just right to be able to pick it up. And I always wondered if you're getting it in the camera or not. Here's a white one. This one has some epoxy between the points. Right, there. right here. There's some right here too. We got two of them, two spots. Okay. Okay. Go on to the next row. Chatelaine Pitcher. Everybody knows how rare these are. Everybody knows how beautiful they are. Look at how beautiful that is. But, big whole area that's bruised right here. Okay? Now, Chase, do you remember? I think the tumbler is... Per Whoop! has something in it. I think it's... There's a little chip on the bottom. That is very common with these. They're usually right along this bottom edge. Right there's one. I think there's another one, actually. Yeah, right there. Yep. So, there's a couple little ones. Nothing major there. That's very typical for those tumblers. Okay. There's a white Memphis fruit bowl set. 
The base of the bowl has a nick, and Chase, you'd seen it earlier. It's right there. Did you get it? Yeah, it is there. Okay, and chip on the base, too. Chase is going to dig that out if he can find it. Yep. Okay, cups are good. Um, nice set. Good display piece. Okay, here's a... Chase, I'm not going to try to lift that whole thing because i got to show the damage that's on it. But that is really, those wines are cute. They're an enamel wine set. Uh, the tray is cute. Here's the chip on the bottle. It's right there. Yep. Okay, really nice bottle. That's a neat set. I'm guessing those are check. I've never really known for sure, but I believe they're check. Okay. Here's a stippled strawberry bowl in purple. Now this has some chip points. I just felt one over here. And now I can't find it again. It's on the back side. It's pretty good size. No, that ain't it. Right there. That's where it is. Right there. Yep. Okay. There's a chip point. Okay. Here's a wishbone bowl in ice blue. There's a chip off the of back of one point. I think it's right at the sticky was somewhere. Up in here. Right there. Okay, here's the white one, and there's a chip on the point of this one, and I, this one I know I had it stuck by the sticky, and it fell into the middle of the bowl. So, uh, is it on the back side? Chip on point, just says on point. Oh, right there. Stuck my finger on it. Got it. Okay. Okay. I know these are getting a little long, apologize for that, but we want to make sure everybody sees what they need to see. You can fast forward through a YouTube video, so if you don't want to see certain things, just fast forward through it. Uh, base chip here, right there. Got it. Okay, on the orange tree mug. Rare bowl here. That's very nice. Look how beautiful this blue Millersburg bowl is. Uh, it's a uh, blackberry. Wreath, uh, where, okay, you, I know it's a horseshoe it's, shape. It starts right here, and it, oh. Can you get it? Just like that. Okay, it's right and here. It goes all the goes way, all way to there, kind of, and then it curls up a little bit. Yep, got it. Okay, now also, I just noticed this. There's a little rough spot right there on a point, but I guess if you're going to buy it with a crack, I guess you can uh, buy it with a little point sharp. So, all right, here's a peacock and Now, there's not much wrong with this bowl. This bowl's really nice. Very pretty. And then right there on the urn, it's like broke out there for some reason. So I'm guessing a spoon dropped in it or something dropped in it and hit right there and broke it out. Very nice bowl. Here's a grape and cable variant bowl in aqua or sapphire, excuse me. Got Point right flake. Oh, you got it already. Got it. You're good. It's right here, huh? Yep. That's where okay. the sticky was. All right, and here we had a, have a point chipped on this one. This is a lime green uh, grape and cable variant. You know where it's at? Right there. Oh, man, your eyes are good. Can you imagine if I had to do this myself? I'd, <laughs> I'd, I'd, we'd be here for an hour. Okay, here's a... All right, this is a very nice... This here is very minor problem on it. It's a Vaseline thin rib vase. And there is a tiny, tiny nick. It's right over here. See it already? Right there. Okay, very tiny. It's just enough that we wanted to call it, let you know it's, it's the there. on flat part of the base. It's kind of on that flat of the base, but that's a nice base. All right, zigzag, tri-corner, crimped edge bowl in marigold. Really nice. Does have base chip right there. Got it. Okay. Uh, Whirling Star, I believe this is what this is called. Punch set. You got six cups. You got a base and a bowl. Now, the bowl's right here. I'm going to show you the base because that's where the problem is. There's just little bitty chips on the edge. There's one there. There's one there. Just very minor little spots. So, this is a very minor problem here. Head to the other side. Really nice pieces on this side here. This piece is good. May West candlestick in red. Is that right, May yep. West? Yep. yep. 
in red. One thing I've learned about Chase, I'm going to say this here, is that his memory is much better than mine. He can remember everything. So he doesn't know everything, but once he does, he knows it. So it's really great. Here is a primrose bowl in green. Look how pretty that is. Now there's several little points, and it's very minor, but on the edges of the point, we found two or three of them, maybe four even, that are just... Right there, this one. Okay, right there that are just nicked the, the edges. And that's very typical for these Millersburg bowls like this. But look at how beautiful that is. Unbelievable. Mill, uh, Northwood Peacock and Earn ice cream sauce has a chip on the base. Where is it? Of course, I won't find it. Right there. By golly, I did find it. Take, took me a while, but I found it. Okay. All right, here's another uh, thin rib vase in sapphire. Okay, this is a little bit taller version, and it has the peeling effect on one ruffle. I see it right there, Chase. Got it. Okay. All right, here's a lion's bowl in blue, seven-inch bowl. This has a chip on a point, and Chase sees it already. He got her. Okay. Rare bowl here, Persian medallion, nine-inch bowl in red. There's two polished chips on the base. You can see the red color. And there's one of the chips. And there's another one. Okay. okay. Horse medallion. Seven inch ruffled bowl in blue. And this one here has a nick between points. And there's one right there. That might be the only one. This is not very bad. It's very minor. Okay. This is a hard base to get. This is a... Four pillars vase in sapphire. Um, there is a large chip on this toe. It starts there and goes all the way down. It's like it just slivered right it off. So I want you to know this is a nice vase. Those are hard to get. Here's the olive green one. This has typical little bitty spots on the feet. You know, when you collect these, you kind of let them go. So see one right there. No, not really. There's... Very, they're very minor. There's one right there. But not too bad. And here's your aqua opal one. And this one here has the minor on one foot. And there's that little, there's a little spot on that one. Pretty much all these have it. There's a little bit there too. So, okay. All right, now this really doesn't have damage. This here has an open bubble. The bubble popped open while in the manufacturing process. It's a stippled three fruits medallion bowl, spatula footed. And there's the open bubble. You can see how it's open right here. And see how big the bubble is. That's just a manufacturer thing. Um, it just happened. This stuff was not quality control when they made this was not very high. Tough piece in red. Fenton Peacock at Earn. Does have base chips. Uh, oh, side of yeah. There it is. Okay. Seacoast pen tray, Millersburg in green. I would swear 90% of these have damage. And I'm looking for it, looking for it. I know they're there because. Oh. Nope. It's your handwriting, isn't it? Huh? Is that your handwriting? Yeah. All right. Oh, right there. On that one. Oh, yeah. Slivered off there. Okay. And there's another one, too. There's another small one somewhere. Uh, was right there. Right there. Okay. Okay. All right. Here's a ice blue uh, wild strawberry bowl. These bowls are very rare bowls in ice blue. But there's a big chip right there. Okay. Here's a basket weave two sides up basket in red. And there's a chip on the back side. Right there. Okay. Back of a point. Okay. Millersburg. Peacock at Earn Master Berry Bowl in Marigold. Radium and Nice. Base chip. Several of them. One, um, right there. Got it. 
There's another one there, little bitty. There's another one right here. There's like three of them. Now we have a lot of three pieces. We have an ice blue strawberry that's cracked. Singing birds. Sing, did I say strawberry? Yeah. Singing birds, cracked. This green one has a chip on the base. And your purple one's in mint shape. Okay. Rare set. This is Cambridge Hop Star. Is that yep. right? Yep. You got three cups and the base. They're both perfect. They're all perfect, every bit of it. This bowl is as near perfect as there is, except for one point. Has a little bitty nick off of it. Very it's minor. Very, very minor. This is, I don't remember another marigold one. I've seen green ones around, and I think I've sold an amethyst, but marigold ones I think are pretty rare. Um, I, I would say there, there can't be more than a couple of them in the country. All right, here's a rare embroidered mums plate. Ice green. Big old bruise right there. Got it. Okay. And this bowl here is very, very nice bowl. It's a Millersburg Big Fish Bowl, three in one edge. Radium. There is the tiniest pinpoint on the base, but it's just big enough for us to call. Chase is looking. It's right on the edge. Right there. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Well, that is the end of the sixth video of the Tom and Ann Bumpus collection. Uh, this sale goes off on set, uh, Sunday night, May 12th at 7 p.m. Thank you very much.